Hi guys, welcome to Quality Thought. This is Subbaraj. In this small video session, I am giving a peculiar kind of topic, which is popularly known as data. Now, data is the biggest component, which is giving huge jobs. What kind of jobs you people are getting as an experienced and professionals? As a fresher, if you are going through that, I am giving some kind of jobs list means what data provides to you, just you can try to understand. The first category one is data analyst. Second one is data engineering. Third one is data science. Fourth one is machine learning. Fifth one is deep learning. Sixth one is NLP engineer. Sixth one is gen AI engineer. Seventh one is prompt engineer. Finally, the king of data, artificial intelligence. Let's will try to elaborate all these terminologies in your simple understandable way guys. The first one data analyst. Many people having doubt. So what we need to do to get better job in data analyst. The easiest way you want to enter into job in data environment area that is a data analyst. What is data analyst? Understanding and visualizing the data is called data analyst. Python, a little maths, MS Excel for data analysis purpose, basic to advanced, SQL, structured query language for visualization purpose, Power BI or Tableau. If these components you are having, definitely will become a good data analyst. And now we will enter into data engineer, right? Data engineer. What exactly data engineer? Study about Big data environment. Again, big data means you are getting a small doubt. What exactly the meaning of big data? Yes, as you are thinking, it is a big data. It is a combination of three data components. The first one is structured data. Second one is semi-structured data. Third one is unstructured data. What is the meaning of structured data? The data which is existed only in table format, in excel format or in the format of any kind of easily understandable way. For whom it is understandable way? Human beings. So structured data that one. What is semi-structured data? You can take JSON files, name value pairs or JSON files or XML files. This is completely comes under semi-structured data. Finally, unstructured data. A Google result is nothing but unstructured data. It is a combination of text, images, links, podcast, videos, what not. There is a huge data existed here. So this is what exactly unstructured data. Then come to the next one because I am discussing about the data engineering. Data engineering you required big data. Big data meaning I provided to you. So what more you require to become a data engineer? Mathematics required. Mathematics means you doesn't require any PhD here. Mathematics very simple here. Statistics and probability. These are the major components to settle in the data engineering environment area. Third one is Excel and SQL. Fourth one is machine learning part. So when I, when I said Excel, simple Excel is not enough here. Basic to advanced. There is, I am having a plan to do artificial intelligence plus Excel. So really one of the best areas where we are integrating AI, there is a new flower will come my dears. So we need to get it, the new flower here. So then the next part is nothing but machine learning. What exactly the meaning of machine learning and how it is going to work? See how you are learning means how we are learning. A human being is going to learn by experience. A machine is going to learn on the basis of data. So crystal clear information I am providing to you. So machine learning also required for a data engineer. A little NLP, natural language processing is there. It is a more effective. And one, two real time projects you are doing, you will become a data engineer. Third one is data science. What is data science? Study about data is called data science. Very simple one here. But to understand this data, we required huge and huge terminologies. 
the first technology is before i am entering into other terminologies first technology python i didn't say about the data engineering level also python required data related any component you can select python is playing major role here until unless you are not good in python you never expected good job in the data environment area so who are coming to data environment areas or data related jobs please be perfect in python coding i am having a plan i'll do big list of python videos also soon you are getting number of videos from raju sir please remember that one everybody let me continue data engineering level next component is nothing but little artificial intelligence so generally ai what exactly the meaning of ai simple my dear a computer enable a computer think like humans like what we are going to think that we are making machines to think is called artificial intelligence let's i completed three components one is data analyst second one is data engineering and third one data science so data science level already i made python required python basic to advanced required some library is very important in the data science environment area what are that one numpy pandas scipy matplotlib cbon plotly scikit-learn pytorch like this some of the libraries highly essential never think data related jobs are critical very simple and easy when you come to data science environment area maths be required what maths 8th class 9th class 10th class so outside in the market n c e r t books available take the books you can try to prepare never get any fear about the maths my dear i'll make it for you very simple in the statistics linear algebra calculus and probability after math successful completion we are entering into machine learning data science environment area machine learning is going to play major role if you ask me what is machine learning i am giving simple definition what is that one apply mathematics on data is called machine learning if you ask me about the deep learning subset of machine learning is called deep learning so this is also we required here next we are going to nlp so you guys required to understand natural language processing full form we know sir already what is nlp means enable computers to understand human language is called nlp simple example hey siri what are you doing hey siri please dial dot number hey alexa how are you hi alexa please play latest songs so this is what exactly artificial intelligence level what exactly we are calling as nlp right when you are coming to the next level is called gen ai engineer which is right now rocking in the market guys you required a great future why don't you select this one so what exactly the prerequisites for the gen ai engineer generative artificial intelligence what it is doing generating text images videos podcast what not what you required you can tell that one but how to build this one that is what is going on in the gen ai level here also you required python is a major component then finally a rocking one artificial intelligence i made already ai definition to you guys to study ai so we required data related above all the terminologies knowledge so finally what data demands data is demanding for you new jobs new lifestyles when you are working with inferential of data sets and when you are observing huge data in the market you are getting definitely great jobs when you are studying this data so i am instructing you guys you are a fresher working professional or who are entering into software industry understand the data data creates a new resources for you because data is a new fuel in the 21st century data always speaks louder than words thank you for watching my videos for more videos please subscribe quality thought please like share and subscribe my videos thank you soon we'll meet with another video bye everyone